What's going on guys, my name is Ali with 5 and Tech 10 in this video we are checking out the new Samsung Galaxy 24. Now this is a 4G only device which seems odd when you consider the 14 5G and the 34 5G that flanked it and Samsung's a series lineup but there is also an 14 4G that more closely competes and rumor has it there will be an 24 5G at some point just to further add to the confusion for now though. I'm going to fill you in on everything you need to know about this new 4G A24 once again and as far as pricing and availability unfortunately this specific phone isn't exactly sold everywhere it's launched now in places like Malaysia, Indonesia, Indonesia, Thailand and South Korea, Turkey and will soon be available in here. It's likely not going to come to the US since the carriers here are pretty heavy on the whole 5G thing but Regardless of where in the world you live, you can still snag an international unlocked 24 for most networks for just a little over 200 bucks, which I think is a great price. Like physically, the A24 4 size design build right in line with all the other 6 plus inch Samsung smartphones, but it's technically a little smaller than last year's 23 and a 23 5G. It's a 6.5 inch device that's the screen size corner to corner and you get a U-shaped notch at the top for the selfie camera. Pretty significant bottom chin with thick black borders all around for it a little greater than an E2% screen to body ratio. It's a big phone no doubt with a nice big screen for all your Instagram scrolling and YouTube video watching needs. But it certainly looks dated or at least looks like the budget phone that it is and from the front nothing has really been improved or otherwise changed. The other new 2023 series phones which all now mimic Samsung's S series phones there's the triple lens camera setup with no bump and an otherwise flat ice cream sandwich like form factor being a budget a series phone. The build here is all plastic for the back cover and the frame though obviously the finish that glossy metallic is pretty unique and I think it does make this phone look a little more premium. The left side you do physical features have a dual SIM and SD card tray for attainable storage which is great. On the right your standard volume buttons just above the power button which doubles as the fingerprint sensor. Now what's weird about this actually is that aside from just the fact that it's a little slower than average to where you can unlock the Pony button itself at least on my device is. Also this like cheap high pitched clicky spiky springy button I've literally never seen before. The bottom you still have the good old headphone jack single speaker USB-C port and another another microphone down there there's no secondary loudspeaker in the airpiece which is sort of odd and around back the triple lens camera setup a 24 is actually the first big thing that sets it apart from the lesser 14 and if you're picky about screen specs this might actually be the deciding factor the 6.5 inch is a 23 costing 340 by 1080 resolution super amol panel with a thousand nits of peak brightness and a 90 hertz refresh rate Compared to last year's 23T and 14, like I mentioned, the big upgrade here is AMOLED. You get a much brighter, bolder and more colorful display that's more in line with what we see on upper mid-range. The out listening experience, the 24 unfortunately does not have dual speakers, which is a little odd. We're stuck with just one bottom speaker there. The four teams don't have a dual speaker setup either, neither the uh, 23 last year, the 84 does so, I guess if that's super important to you. So I have to jump up one more notch in the EC's lineup. When it comes to the internal specs and performance, this I think is where the Air 24 falls a little short in my opinion. So inside this phone is powered by the familiar MediaTek Helio G99. And that's my polite way of suggesting that it's an older processor originally announced more than two years ago. You have the option of either 4, 6 or 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigabits of storage. What do you guys think? Will you be grabbing an R24? Anytime soon did you maybe buy one already? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Of course, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video though. Be sure to follow 5M Tech if you haven't already and I'll see you guys down below.